this was a, like a little surprise for me when I saw this come across. And let's see. And $36. But what you get, you it's almost like a sampler. Uh, like you get the box of chocolates and you've got all the different uh, uh, flavors of chocolate. Uh, this is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. But it sort of just takes bits and pieces from their other libraries and contact player compatible. So you don't have to have the full version of contact to enjoy this. So you got 56 uh, snapshots. So let's just dive into this. Um, okay, so here we go. You've got different categories. So this is in the sound design category and it's called uh, Above Below. see what's playing on there. So we've got the Elysium harp and layer one, layer two, we've got the music box, synth. we've got uh, different textures here. We've got two synths that have different uh, tones. We can drop down there, effects, sound effects, and we can layer between the two of these. Then we can go in and they've got an arpeggiator that we can. And then if you use the code price tracks, you get additional savings. I think it's like 5% uh, off of that. It's Sound Iron, so use code Praise Tracks at Sound Iron. So already, I mean, this is this is really amazing. Okay, uh, Adies, oh wow, well. Adeles Filis, whatever that is. <laughs> so we've got okay, so we've got boys choir, and we've got. Um, Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got organ, keys, and then a couple of um, ambient tones here. set uh, contact and see because it, it's just like going off the rails So let's just hear the um, the boys choir. That 
that's pretty wild. And then we can drop down and select uh, from the different things going on. So let's keep going. So we've got uh, Coral Wash. Yeah. of fun that's kind of fun so you got a uh, like a vocal ensemble <laughs> and then layer two we have the hyperion strings I mean, for thirty-six dollars to have just like just like a collection is just really fun. Uh, it's fun to have that. a lot of fun and one thing is it gives you a sampling of the different libraries so uh, that they have uh, so it's just really a lot of fun bell beauty let's see yeah circle bells alto glockenspiel and a couple of pads well one pad the ampersynth We got these key switches down here.
Very nice. Well, wow. and and see, I just um, down down at the bottom, you've got the key switches that um, let's see. I think yeah. So layer one, you can use these key switches to switch out the sound, switch out the available sounds in the layer, and I think that's really interesting that you can do that. Um, that way you can kind of create your own things on the fly with uh, with switching out things. So let's go to a Galaxy Strings. Really cool. So layer one, we've got Hyperion Elements. We've got two layers of Hyperion Elements, and that's that's it. <laughs> Now we can go here and let's see, we can go to the effects. We've got effects somewhere. Yes, we've got the effects right down here. And that's where we get the crazy um, amount of reverbs and different effects slots that we can put in there. Keyscape underneath that. I think there's like 50 shape. So we can go here. Um, yeah, so there are 58, uh, 58 custom design snapshots and uh, two master contact player instrument presets. And it's uh, 4.8 gigabytes. And so 9.6 gigabytes uncompressed. So that means they've compressed 9.6 gigabytes down into 4.8. So you're getting the equivalent to almost 10 gigs of, um, of sound. So use the code praise tracks again to make sure you can get that extra little bit. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Thanks guys for being here and being a part of the channel and the beautiful support. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's just go down here to uh, Plux. This looks interesting. Okay. So you got the harp. That's pretty wild. And no synth, but just the uh, two layers of uh, the Elysium harp and then the, uh, the Cylindrum. Wow. Let's see. Let's go to Sky Piano. Why not, guys? So Struck Grand and then the Montclairian Hall Piano. So we've got two different pianos layered together here. Um,
and we can see the attack. We've got the attacks kind of to let it fade in. I'm gonna just dial the attack down. Just dial that attack down. Okay, you know what I did? I hit a key switch. I'm gonna put back the strut grand and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting a ton of voices when I'm doing. Okay, now when I hit that A flat, it triggers that zitherette. So that's what that's what happens. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do some more. Oh yeah. So Sound Iron and all of their all of their instruments, you go down here, you've got the performance tab, uh, you, and it's it's right below the keyboard. Uh, and then yeah, you can see it there. So you've got the effects rack, and then you can drop this down, right click. Well, let's see, let's see how we can. Yeah, you drop this down, and then it gives you a whole rack of different effects: EQs, delays, reverbs and phasing and different things, all, all kinds of stuff under the hood there that you can mess with. So this is uh, synth orchestral. And you can see the attack is really dialed up on Amba synth two and one, really all of the, The only thing I would change is CPU optimization. I think that is the only thing that I'm seeing. Um... That's that's what I'm thinking that this is. It's a um, it's just like a a, a, a a preview pack or a sam a sampling pack, a taster pack, like what you said. That's a great way to do it. Um, no, uh, it's, 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 a it's just like what we, what we're talking about. It's a, it's a taster or, a, or just, you're just getting a taste of all of the different, um, different libraries that, um, some of them that Sound Iron has, and they just kind of package them together in here. Uh, so let's, um, let's go to zoo. <laughs> I wonder what that is, what that's going to be like. Okay. So. So the mock wheel is kind of like having some fun with this. So we've got brass and strings. And I hit that zither red again. I keep, I keep wanting to reach way down here and then it, it triggers some of the uh, key switches. Okay. Mary Strum. Okay. Ooh. So the ARP is doing the strumming. Let's see what we've got as far as sounds. We've got... Uh, Pizzicato, uh, staccato violins, and we've got the uh, mallets. And then we can turn the ARP off and 